All right, property is uh, late 2016, uh, so it's pretty new. It's barely over a year old. Uh, they hired me to come out and do the one-year warranty inspection. I actually performed the first inspection and the re-inspection. Uh, both times I found issues, and then the second time they didn't correct all the issues, but they said they did after I did the re-inspection. A year later they hired me back out, and I'm doing the inspection again, and the same issues are still present, and I found some just general maintenance things that have occurred over the years. Uh, let me go show you, let's go check it out. <laughs> If um, I can get out on the roof through the window without setting up my ladder, that's what I normally like to do. So uh, this roof is a little weird. I had to jump out the window and then I had to jump up to the next level to find these issues. All right, made it. So um, what I'm gonna do is, what happened last time is I called out two nail heads on the roof and they didn't really cause any damage, but since the last time I've been here, there was Harvey and uh, several other rainstorms. And they haven't leaked that much, but they have leaked enough to cause a little bit of damage. You can see it's right there. And then right down at the base, just sticking out right down there. And then uh, right around the front, I uh, caught some flashing issues. Let's go check that out. All right, so this is that flashing issue I was telling you about. The paint has been washed away a little bit across the flashing. And then because it wasn't painted properly, it started to rust. Since this is a one year warranty inspection, I went ahead and just recommended to um, just replace it. If it's starting to rust, you're going to start to lose the integrity of the flashing. Alright, I can't really go down there very much, but this one I didn't catch on the first one, uh, probably because it wasn't there. Uh, a little bit of years time, uh, the house maybe settled a little bit, and then um, high winds or something uh, made the siding just come loose just a little bit so I just recommended for it to be resecured. Alright so uh, last spot um, inside the attic area it's kind of a tight fit but I'm going to show you where the uh, shingles are leaking and uh, you can see where it's caused a small stain on the sheetrock but it's only on the top side it shows no evidence of it on below and they weren't patching or painting. So you can see right here right at the base you got some water stains Got some water stains over here in the corner. And then you have some staining across the uh, the top, the radiant barrier there. All right, sorry my energy levels are a little low. I did a hoarder's house yesterday and man, it messed up my sinuses a little bit. Uh, but uh, with that being said, it shows you that even if you do the, your own inspection, it's still good to come out and do a re-inspection after the re-inspection <laughs> if uh, things are, weren't done or they didn't provide any type of pictures showing you that they, the work was done properly. Um, also your house can take a little bit of wear and tear too as well and with that little bit of wear and tear it still could be covered underneath that warranty like the siding pulled loose a little bit. Uh, that could easily fall underneath uh, the builder's requirements to fix. Uh, but that's it. That's Chris with the Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call. And then uh, please like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks guys. Bye.